Welcome back to the channel and this week we are returning to Middle-earth where the forces of Thranduil's halls will take on Isengard in a 500 point match. First of all, let's take you through the board. We've got some ruins and each of these pairs of trees represents some area terrain, a forest, obviously. Now let's have a look at the forces. I've got quite a simple force this week. Um, we've got Legolas and Toriel, each with 11 rangers. Okay, here's my Isengard force for today. Uh, let's start with Lurtz, he's my warlord. And he his warband is all scouts, he has three with swords, four with bows, and four with swords and shields. And then we have an Urukai captain here, with heavy armor, sword and shield. He has a warband of eleven, with heavy armor, sword and shield, and one with a banner. And then over here we have an Urukai shaman, with six warriors with pikes, and that's 500 points on the dot. Right, again, we've got the match play cards. A quick shuffle, and we are playing Lords of Battle. I won the roll for determining the table edge, so I chose this one. I started by deploying Legolas's group there in the ruins. Then Lurtz's group went into that forest. Can you call it a forest? I don't Oops. know. Uh, so then I put Toriel's group in that one. And then obviously you put that group there so that they can see me because of the elven cloaks. And finally that little group over there with the shaman. Right, let's do priority for turn one. That is a five for me and a four. So. Evil wins! No, good no. wins. I'm good. Yes. I've been working out a lot of evil armies lately. Turn one. Toriel's group moved back a bit so they couldn't engage me this turn. Legolas's group stayed where they are. Then all of the uruk just advanced towards me. But now it's my shooting turn. So let's see what damage I can do. Toriel's group managed to cause a single wound on the captain, but Legolas's group was much more successful, killing four of the uruk -hai. Um No shooting from the uruk -hai, no combat, so let's roll for priority for the second turn. That's a four for me, Whoop. and that's a dice on the floor, and that's a five, so evil has priority. So this group of uruk engaged Toriel's group. This group moved towards Legolas's, as did they. And the Shaman attempted to transfix Legolas, but failed his casting roll. Um, shooting. I don't believe you've got any shooting this turn. No. So, just Legolas's group shooting. Legolas's group choose to fire everything at the scouts, but absolutely failed to cause any wounds this time. Oh well. Right, so... Let's get to the fight phase. Right, so after this little scrap, I managed to kill one of the Oryx and I didn't lose any in return. No other fighting, so let's do priority for turn number three. That's a five for me, and a four. So that's me. Toriel's group moved back so the big units couldn't reach me for combat, and I could still shoot. Legolas's group stayed where they are, but I misjudged the distance, probably should have measured it. They managed to get into combat. The large group of Oryx sort of split up, and so did the scouts. So some of them got into combat there, some of them are heading towards there, and the archers are lining up to shoot. Right, let's do some shooting next. Shooting from all of the elves didn't result in any wounds and return fire from the Uruks all into Legolas 
did cause a wound, but I fated it. I had to spend a might point to make him pass. Right, let's do some combat. So, in the fight phase, um, one uh, elf was killed over here. Yes. And then one elf and one uruk was killed over here. Right, I've lost count of what turn we're on, but it doesn't matter. So let's just do priority. That's a six for me. Six for me. And a six, so it moves over to you. The shaman called the heroic channeling, um, tried to transfer its legless but failed the roll, and then it was just a matter of the Uruks moved into combat, and I responded by getting as many people into combat as I could. I had two left over, so I just moved them back there for no real reason. And same story over here. Uruks moved in, and all my unengaged, I just moved around, so they're engaged. Didn't want to be in this huge brawl, but let's see what happens. Right, just to summarise who died, um, I lost one of my elves over here, and you lost how many Uruks over here? One. Just one, which means over here I lost none, and he lost three. So that was a pretty good round for the elves. Oh, there was no shooting, but you probably guessed that as I didn't cover it. Let's do priority for the next turn. I got five. Roll one. Okay, I have priority. Right then, um, I just engaged as many as I could. There was only one Uruk left unengaged, and he moved in to join a battle. And same here. That guy couldn't reach anyone. But everyone else managed to get into combat. Uh, is it for movements? Um, can you do any shooting? No. Nope. So let's move on to the fight phase. This battle over here resulted in one from each side being killed. And this battle here resulted in one Uruk. So, yay. Elves are doing good. Okay, let us roll priority for the next turn. That's a six for me. I have priority again. Okay, I seem to be in a position where I'm outnumbering the Uruks. So I managed to get all my people into combat, making all of the Uruks in combat, apart from that little group of archers over there who are just basically stuck doing nothing unless they want to risk shooting their own people. Which may happen, we shall see. Oh, speaking of which, it's the shoot phase. Are you going to risk shooting your own people? Oh, you already said I wasn't going to. Nope. So, let's go into combat. Combat over here resulted in Legolas losing, but no wounds. And um, one elf dying and one uruk dying. And over here, it was two uruks dying. Okay, let's roll priority for the next turn. That's a four. It's a five. I'll take your word for it. It's got one to me. But no, hey. Oh, right. That dice there, yes. Right, priority goes to evil. The only really options at the moment are just to engage everyone and hope on numbers. And that's what we've done. Everyone's in combat. Those guys have sort of grouped up there. I have no idea what they're planning. So I shall now ask a question. Are they going to shoot? No. No. So, on to the fight phase. Right, so the combats resulted in one orc and one elf being killed in each fight, including the banner. So the priority for the next turn. I think we're getting close to the end now. That's a one, so you're going to win regardless of what you roll. No, you wouldn't have. But you did win. All right. Everyone's in a scrap. Big combat there. Lurch is still in the challenge, so until one of these guys dies, they're going to be a one on one forever. Right, so the usual question you want to shoot? No. Nope. The elf overconfidence has got to them. I didn't kill a single orc this turn, but I lost Legolas and I lost two elves as well. But hey. I'm not. I'm almost at the break point, but not quite there. I suppose you're nowhere near your break point. Oh no! You need to kill another three. I need to kill three more, and so do you. That's how close it is. Priority. Mm -hmm. That's a three, 
and a four. Oh, still with the evils. So to summarise, basically the same as normal, except in a shock move, they've moved all the way over there. And we remembered he exists, but hey, he's just standing there watching over. Right, no shooting again, so first person to kill three. Let's see who gets it. So the board is looking a bit empty. Both forces broke. So, here we go. Do, do you roll for the, to see if it continues now? Uh, and, yeah, then do we just roll dice on a one or a two? Okay, you roll, because I'm holding the camera. There's your dice over there, if you're looking for your special. Three, so it continues. Yes. So priority, I got a six, so I'm going to win. I also got a six, but you get it anyway. Right. See if this is the last turn. Courage tests all round for the Urux. The only one that failed was the Shaman. That's a shame. Um, as he charged me, I only had one out of combat and he passed his courage test and then got into combat. Hang on. I missed something. You missed something? Yeah, and also you forgot something. And I forgot something. There's no Uruk there. This is just elves. Oh. Yep. So I'll just do. Well. Toriel would have done the test and Standfast would have got those two. So I'll just quickly move those two into combat to really show this Uruk who's boss. So, yep, yeah, is that everyone? Yes. Okay, and I'm going to ask, are you going to shoot? No. No. So let's just summarise what's left over here. Over here I have two elves and there's Lurts and two Uruks. And over here... There is one, one Uruk and lots of elves and over there there are four. I think we can see where this is going. Roll the dice again or one or two, the game ends. Still continues, so priority. That's a three for me. One. And one, so I have priority. Alright, over here my two elves moved into combat. Over here, I lost one elf to a fail courage test. Toyo managed to rally the rest. Um, one of them's coming over here to join that combat. They were intending to stand there and shoot those guys, but they ran away, losing two of themselves to courage tests. I actually caused a wound on Lurtz, but he fated and mighted his way out of it. Killed one of those, and lost an elf here. Right, again, one or two of the game ends. One. The game has ended. Be back in a second with points. So, at the end of this game, an excitingly close game, it was one point to the Urux for breaking me, and two points for me for breaking them and causing more wounds. There we are. Um, I don't think there's anything we want to say for any strategies here. It was basically a charge at us and hit. There was no real strategy involved. Maybe next time. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this as much as we enjoy playing it, and we'll see you again next time. Goodbye.